Okay, so all the lipsticks I'm going to be showing you guys are from MAC. I always go between these lipsticks and liquid lipsticks from mainly ColourPop. I like getting all my liquid lipsticks from ColourPop because they're super duper inexpensive. I mean, I'm talking seven to nine dollars and that always works for me. I always look for, you know, bargains and inexpensive products. I think I might do a video too on liquid lipsticks that I like using during the fall. So if you guys want to see that type of video, I am more than happy to create that. I It would make sense for me to incorporate that, those products in this video, but I pretty much ran out of all my fall liquid lipsticks, so I need to go buy more and replenish and then I can create you guys a tutorial. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. The first lipstick I'm going to be wearing for you guys is oh my god I think this just faded out anyway so I can't see the name of this lipstick because it faded out I've had it for a while now but I will just write the name down um, once I find it for you guys is this it's like a smoked purple smoked purple from MAC MAC actually has a lipstick called smoked purple and this looks just like it but I don't think it's smoked purple I'm gonna zoom in so this lipstick has a matte finish with a subtle moisture to it it's not completely matte like a ruby woo it just ha it has some moisture to it I really need to buy pencils lip pencils they help line your lips when you're wearing lipstick because I always have to struggle applying it the right way and making sure I don't go over the lip line so this is the first lipstick this lipstick is perfect for fall because it's dark it's bold very dramatic I could also wear this in the winter time why not let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more there we go So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then put on the next lipstick this lipstick one thing I need to mention is that it doesn't dry out your lips like some matte lipsticks do I think it's because it has a moisture to it next up is runner by Mac this is a deep burgundy color I love this color if I could wear this color every day I would because it complements most of my eye makeup which is why I like using this lipstick in the fall I gravitate to it a lot it also has the same consistency as that purple lipstick I just showed you guys I love how bold it is one thing I like about deep red colors like this is that they complement a variety of skin tones so you don't have to worry about the color just being too much for your skin tone or kind of blending in it's just perfect it just it complements different complexions and I like that about it you know it's it's always a safe heaven when I'm picking out lipsticks because I know it's always going to look with every makeup look that I decide to create so it's one of my favorites for sure. So this is gonna come off and then we're gonna try the third lipstick 
All right, the next lipstick I'm gonna try is Amores, and this is by Mac as well. It is a blush pink, kind of like a ash pink color. It's I think this color is perfect for girls with darker skin complexion because then you don't have to worry about lining your lips like those bold pink colors. I can't think of one that I got from Mac once upon a time. It was a it was a light pink color it was perfect for summer but i always looked like i had duck lips so i always had to line my lips with that color but with this color you don't have to worry about that if you are a chocolate girl because it's perfect you don't need any liner it blends in well with our complexion and it makes you look good too i can wear this color in the summertime which is good i think it's a very versatile color that does not discriminate seasons so I like it because I can wear it all year round so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that this is it I know some of you might think this is a very vibrant color and it's safer in the summertime but I think it's it's a doable color for the fall I mean, it adds a little color and vibrance to your makeup look so I think that's why I chose it as one of my favorite fall colors that I like to wear anyways Tiene lo que ninguna chica tiene Tanto flow que no se compara en niveles Mi modelo de ti tengo diez mil carteles Eres ay si espero que no me congeles Paso a paso demuestro lo que ella tiene Sin reposo te baila trapeza y reggae Por si acaso le muestro lo que tiene el nene Lo que quiero mami solo que lo ordene Baila hasta que la noche se acabe Bailamos salsa y reggaeton Eremos now, this lipstick has a satin finish to it so it gives you moisture it makes your lips look more popping and vibrant I like it because it doesn't dry out my lips because it, of course it has that moisture and it has that satin um, effect one thing I also like about it is that it is buildable so you can always add as much product as you want depending on the look that you're going for so it's a good color I like it So the final color for this video is Ruby Woo by MAC. Everybody I know knows Ruby Woo. If you don't know Ruby Woo, then hmm. So the final color for this video is Ruby Woo by MAC. It is this matte lipstick. It's such a popular lipstick. A lot of people know Ruby Woo. If you don't know Ruby Woo, it's this matte red lipstick that's very popular for MAC. Uh, a lot of girls like to wear this lipstick because of the effect that it gives you. It gives you those vibrant red lips and it has a matte finish so it's going to stay on the whole day. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. I'm running out which is why it looks so little but that's fine. We will work with what we have. One thing you want to know about this lipstick though before you apply it is that you want to moisturize your lips because it tends to dry them out. I always remember to moisturize because the last thing you want to do is apply the lipstick and then you know your lips get irritated and uncomfortable and then you're forced to take it off moisturize and then apply it so remember to always moisturize before you apply it all right i have ruby wool on this lipstick is so sexy and vibrant I love a sexy lipstick it is my go-to lipstick when I'm going on a date night with Joey if we're going somewhere romantic I just love it it's, it just screams femininity uh, it just screams a femininity I can't say that word it's very feminine um, it's sexy vibrant lustrous um, woo, all the sexy words you can think of Ruby woo I like this lipstick particularly because it stays on the whole day. It's red, it's matte, it complements my skin, it complements any skin tone like any other red lipstick does. But this one specifically, it's just something about it that I just love. It, it's, it's the consistency. I like it. I like it a lot. 
You'll see the difference though when you apply this lipstick without moisturizing your lips and applying it with moisture on your lips. It's a completely different product. If you do not moisturize your lips, I guarantee you, your lips are going to start cracking up, they're going to start peeling. It's just not good. So remember to always moisturize your lips when you're applying this lipstick or any other lipstick that has a matte finish because you want you don't want it to dry out your lips too much. So if you guys notice those lipsticks that I've showed you are in the pink and red family. I just swatched them out for you guys to see. I'll be creating another review video for you guys on all the neutral lipsticks that I wear in the fall. I know these were more on the reds, purple, pink side. I want to create another video of course with liquid lipsticks that I use that are mostly neutral. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that big subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.